Do you know, this blogging luck is bloody frustrating. It's like you've got to sit in front of a camera and produce something that is of interest to somebody who's sitting out there in like YouTube land, like <clears throat> expecting to be entertained. Are you not entertained? You know, it's like, what do I have to do? Go around chopping people's heads off in downtown LA while drinking an orange juice. I find it highly Oh, just the people that go out and they blog are just, they're, they're out there to do this thing. And I don't know what they, you know, they, they can jump on airplanes at the stroke of a bloody, you know, because they're all on the same deal where they've signed up to some company that is basically producing um, uh, a bunch of people who are influencers. Now, these people, they go around the world and they sit in, on a beach and jump on surfboards and fly all over the place. And they go, hey buddy, everybody, look at this, I'm surfing my motorbike while going down a waterfall on, you know, stilts. And they're selling me a dream which Basically, I don't really, I, you know, hey, if I want to go out there and do those things, hey, I'll do them. But to be sold this, like, oh, I've got to go out and get something to eat from my local cool restaurant because it's where everybody hangs out and I get a donut. It makes me angry. I, I don't know what it is, why these people are in constant... I've got to produce something that is content worthy so I can get my fundraising patron uh, uh, subscribers to like me and pay me uh, a stupid amount of money for sitting eating donuts in LA or downtown New York is just, oh God, don't you people understand? It's just dull as dishwater skateboarding through New York day after day watching a bloody time lapse you know I've, like, I've seen this now I've been watching it for about six weeks and people on skateboards chasing donuts around New York in LA on aeroplanes like on constant time lapses is just it's been done why can't you consider doing something that is interesting? Talk about your lives that are just, well, they're, they're just like not uh, existent. You know, like uh, all I can say is like, there are people out there who do amuse me and I crave their ability to entertain me and give me things which are not sort of, uh, the day-to-day -day mundane things that everybody produces. Like, uh, you know, I know there are people out there who just sit there and constantly make makeup videos and they go, hi guys, after every, you know, like the first thing I do, if I see a video where somebody turns on their camera and goes, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, I am not interested in watching that. I will literally, press the unsubscribe button and cancel and, and never watch them again. You know, like they are what I call the adverts of the internet and should not be watched. They are people who drain your soul because they are there to just sell you stuff. And I, I don't want to be sold anything. I just want to be entertained with the content of somebody's brain that they come up with an idea that is interesting enough to sort of watch every day. And <clears throat> if that's the case, then what am I selling you right now? Because what does, what you have to ask yourself is, what are you getting from me talking to you? So, you know, do I, do I give you what you crave? And uh, all I can say is, from my own perspective, 
I, I'm coming across as slightly angry right now because I feel angry. I feel a, a sort of like, uh, it's, uh, there is something wrong. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, well, I do know what it is. The world in general is fucked up. And like there are people that are just out there and they, there are nasty, horrible people that will climb over your back to get what they want above everybody else. Now, I'm not saying it's bad that they are out there to do that. You know, like they're out there to get the better house than you, to upgrade their car that's better than this and better than that. And everybody sits there and goes, oh, I wish I had that car. I wish I had that house. I wish I had this. I wish I had that. You know, it's like, I'm not interested in that. It really, you know, there are certain things that I do want. I want, I, I want a five million dollar house, and I want a five million dollar boat, and I want a five million dollar cars of, yeah, a fleet of cars. But then I know that I'm not going to get these things unless, you know, by some sheer fluke I win the lottery. Now, that being said, fine. I know that I'm not going to get these things, but there are these people out there that um, they are out there to climb life and climb over the backs of everybody out there that is <clears throat> just generally trying to live. And uh, I find that kind of disturbing in a kind of way because what these people are doing is <clears throat> they are, they're just sort of, I don't know, it, it's not that they are wrong in life, it's not that they are, uh, they're not negative, it's just, I, <clears throat> you know, it's just like, you get these people, they sit in their like really fancy houses and they've got like, you know, the the, the perfect 2.4 kids, the perfect house, you know, the perfect furniture, the perfect everything. And then they sit and they look down on that from their ivory towers, everybody else, and they go, hey, I earned this because I am more, I'm better than you, you know? And I find that really bad. Really, you know, there's something wrong about that. And, you know, I, I suppose we're all, we're all sort of, um, we're all guilty of that to a degree because we all think the same sort of way, in a way, you know, like, hey, um, hey, I'm better than you, you're not better than me, you know, so as a result, um, <clears throat> people are going to sit there and they go, they're going to buy into that sometimes. And they go, hey, I want that that he's got or she's got because they're better than me. And it's like the celebrity type culture where um, everybody aspires to become this celebrity that they're not. And they buy into the furniture, the clothes, the shoes, the hair, the, the face, the, the surgery, the... The cars that they drive around in, the people that they hang around in, it's like, um, you know, when, the analogy I would say is, when uh, people, for, from years ago, from like uh, Big Brother, when uh, Big Brother started, they go in as um, sort of nobodies, and they have no personalities or anything, and they... They do the big brother and they fight the fight and they do the thing and they come out and they automatically have no talent but they are automatically celebrities and they can go to the best parties, the best cinema tickets and uh, they become something out there that is, I don't know, they're, they're something that they're not but they suddenly become and you know as time goes on these celebrities that suddenly have become into existence they have to do all the things that the 
uh, the, the normal superstar uh, people go through by getting plastic surgery and have liposuction and they, they go on endless diets and they do their thing and oh, it's just so pathetic, it really is. I really don't understand it. It's like, why, why, why? You know, it's like following down the footsteps of an idiot. It's like, um, because one idiot does it, everybody else has to do it, you know. Like, uh, you know, there you go. But, I don't know, I've maybe, I've just had my rant. I'm better now. Take a breath.